Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. We have a very nice Bill Bacardi challenge lock. It is a number 58. It says don't turn 180. I'll show you the bitten. And it's got a very nice Cubs key, which is an American baseball team. Um, there's a little bit of a click at the bottom, so maybe there is definitely something savage in there as Bill makes absolutely awesome challenge locks but um, it does work so we should be okay and um, well before we start if you're into locks, uh, lock picking and you want to get involved in uh, lock sport please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk if you like what you see on my channel please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon as I make two three videos per week from uh, all different types of things from lock making, from picking locks to all sorts really, <laughs> reviews, all lock related. Oh, uh, this lock also was sent to me by uh, a very good, uh, my good friend uh, Bobby Keys. And Bill Bicardi sent a few locks to him for him to, to send over with a package. So uh, thank you very much to both of them. I will put the description of their channels, sorry, in the description. And I'm gonna put I'm going to use it in this very nice kick holder that I got from Red Cap Imaging, which is Foxy Red Cap Imaging, I should say. Actually, his channel's Red Cap Cat Imaging, but everybody knows him as Foxy. Awesome guy. Um, there we go. Uh, let me just find. There we go. I'm missing my rubber pad off my uh, device. I don't want to damage the kick holder. The good thing about it, you don't have to be very tight with a kick holder. Nice, just just firm enough. Let's see what we're going to use. Let's try Bobby Keys medium hook and homemade tension wrench. And let's see if we can get in. Oh, we're off this end, don't yet. Yeah. I'll click another one of three. Oh, we've got a little click on five, I think. There's a six. Oh, a little bit of rotation, but it clicked in nicely now. Number. Let me just bring this a little bit closer. There we go. Got to keep it there. I don't want to reset it. You know that he's back in. Got another little click off three. Counter. Oh, we've got a, another bit. We've got a really nice fault set now. So something's definitely. We've got. I'm not sure, but I believe there's got to be one pin now that's holding this up. No, nope, click on one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three now. Four. Oh, and there we go. It was five. Oh, that was a very nice pick. Really good feedback. Um, definitely, uh, I think it was six pin that sets it off first. And just get the uh, pin in tray. Turn that around. There we go. All right, let's have a look. Let's pop it out of the uh, cylinder and we can lock it back up because we have the key. And I need the hollow follower. As you can see with the back of this, the pins are going to get stuck. So it's a good thing we're having a hollow one. Let's get the clip off. Turn it 
and it just there will do. No more than that. And let's gently push this through. And we are done. Oh, definitely a six pin. Let's remove that. Let's have a look. Oh, we all need to pick in. They were very deep. Well, let's have a look what we've got in here. Number one is a standard. Number two is like a half spool. Uh, we've got a standard in three. In four, we've got a, another standard. And five and six, we have standards. Uh, number six is a really long pin. So we've just got one on that one. So okay. In the colour, nothing going on in the colour. Right, let's see if we can swap this round now to a solid follower because I hate taking the pins out on a hollow one because they always fall out. <laughs> fall down the middle, I should say. Let's have a look what we have got. Oh, we definitely got pin and pin going on here. Wow, that is a long. Oh, it's a double pin and pin. That's cool. That. I'll break that up into its its parts so you can see. Oh, it's really cool. Steel spring. Number two, we have a commercial spool. and a copper spring number three gotta be really careful oh that no, that is that is we'll have a look at that one in a minute that's uh definitely not seen that type before and i've picked a lot of box third spring is a, another brass one a uh, copper one sorry in number four is that a pin in pin? Nope. That's a really wide serrate. That, that's cool. Where's that spring? And we have a steel spring, number four. And in number five, we've got. It's like a very long T pin. Yeah, we go. Just trying to get that spring here. We've got a copper spring, and last but least, we have another pin in pin and a very small steel spring. Oh wow! So we've got going on in there. Anything in the chambers in this Bible? Nope. We're all nice and smooth in there. Let's check out these pins. There we go. As you can see, we have got two part pin in pin. There's your pin, really, really, really long pin. And then we've got a two part spool, uh, part of the pin in pin, which is really cool, not seen that before. We've got a commercial. We have got a very nice. Um, it's like a like a spool, then a big serrate, that, and then it's uh, mushroomed at the end. That's going to catch you out. Very nice wide serrations and deep thick ones. This is like a very very long T pin, and then we've got a very nice another one, which is another pin and pin with a like right, heading towards a spool at the end. Very cool, and all key pins are standard except for this one, which is more. Bit like a mushroom. Very cool, very cool pins. And uh, we've got a steel, a copper, a copper, a steel, a copper. Oh, I think that's a brass actually, sorry. And then that's a steel. 
Awesome. Really cool. That was a, a very nice pick. I enjoyed that a lot. It uh, definitely like uh, that's some really good feedback as well. But um, yeah, please check out Bill Bacardi's channel and uh, Bobby Keys. Absolute awesome guys. And don't forget to check out Red Cap Imaging as he makes these awesome guys all of them. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Um, bye. Don't forget to like.